Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing The Giver. It's a movie based on the book by Lois Lowry. Um, I have read the book. It was in grammar school though, so I don't remember much. But I do remember that I liked the book a lot. And I think that if you have read the book, you'll enjoy the movie just the same. It's a little bit different. There's a few key aspects that they don't include in the movie. Um, I won't fault them though because it's only an hour and a half and there's only so much that you can fit into it. Um, I would say that it's a little differently paced, uh, but overall, still a very good movie. I definitely recommend it. If you haven't read the book, the main premise is there's a utopian society that has been formed after some type of apocalyptic event, and um, they've removed emotion and color and violence and climate, pretty much, uh, from, from their uh, community and um, it just seems like it's it's the perfect world and everyone does their part everyone has a role and that's when we come upon the the main character Jonas he and his friends are about to be given their role in society and all of his friends are all of his friends are given their role but Jonas is skipped over and the chief elder comes out and uh, she's played by Meryl Streep and she explains that Jonas is the new receiver and uh, his new mentor will be Jeff Bridges, who is the giver. And his role is very important because he holds all of these memories and the colors and emotions and the history of, of these, these people before this apocalyptic event. And, uh, and so, yeah, um, that's pretty much the, the main premise. That's a good foundation. Uh, if, if you don't want any spoilers, then, then stop watching. Um, so I'm just going to continue on. Uh, after Jonas begins these, these training sessions with, uh, with the giver, um, and he's receiving all of these emotions and most of them are good. You know, you have happy emotions and he gives love and, you know, euphoric feelings and, and, you know, sunshine and flowers and animals and, and all these different things that are just beautiful. And then of course he gets the, the not so great things like violence and war and hate and, and, you know, death, um, and, and he starts to, to figure out that this society of his, it's not, it's not perfect, because there are all of these things still, and the elders are, are pretty much just suppressing um, everyone's emotions, just so that they don't have to deal with them, and um, you, you find out that uh, everyone in the community has to take these injections in the morning and they just suppress, the, you know, these, these urges and emotions, um, that people, you know, naturally will, will have, but, uh, the elders are saying that, you know, they're trying to suppress them because if left to their own devices, um, people will always make the wrong decisions. And the chief elder does say this later on in the movie. You know, she says that she doesn't want people to have these memories and emotions and things because she doesn't want to deal with it. Um, and, well, Jonas obviously doesn't like that. And uh, he plans to escape from the community and leave and go out um, elsewhere. Um, different than the elsewhere than they refer to in the community. Uh, which is, of course, death. Um, Jonas finds out that at the nursery, if twins are born, they take the healthier of one and they they use lethal injection on the other. Um, in the in the nursing homes, the the old folks' homes, uh, if it becomes that time when they need to move on, they they use lethal injection to to send them on their way. They send them elsewhere. And unfortunately, everyone in this community. Uh, who who are uh, working at these you know at these places or who have these roles they don't understand because they don't they don't understand death they don't know what they're doing and Jonas is trying to explain to them and they they just don't understand so uh, he makes he makes this decision that he's going to leave he's going to go out of the community because he believes that if he leaves all these memories and emotions will will flood back to everyone they'll they'll leave him and and they'll go to everyone else. And uh, so he decides to leave. He takes a small child that his family was fostering um, and will soon undergo lethal injection. And Jonas has become to love him, so he decides to take it with him. He gets help from his friend, Fiona, who uh, works in the nursing home. And um, the chief elder 
you know, pretty much just goes on this rampage trying to stop him. And it, it's a little curious because, you know, they say that there's no violence and they say that there's no problems or anything, but yet they still have a justice system. They still have police. They still have cameras throughout the community. They still have, um, you know, drones that, that fly over everything and, and they, you know, they uh, go around um, the, the, the perimeter always 24-7. And you, you realize that, you know, it's not perfect. It's a farce. And, and the chief elder is trying to keep this, you know, trying to keep this image up and, and she's failing because of Jonas. So she sends these police after him and, and she sends, you know, all of her forces after him and he evades them and he leaves. Um, and, and he ends up getting away and the memories come back to the community and that's the end. Um, the only thing that kind of bothered me was again, you know, the the fact that they say that there's no violence in this community, and you know, unfortunately, there's there's still the police. There's still they have jail. They have you know you know Jeff Bridges, the giver, is thrown in jail for helping Jonas. Uh, Fiona is thrown in jail. Um, you know, they they still have uh, batons, and they still have. Um, I think they they try to subdue. Uh, the giver with um, a, a, like a shock stick um, or a, um, you know some type of, of weapon and I mean you know why do they have these things if if they say that there's no violence in this community and and I that's that's when the the viewers start to realize like it it's false it's not this perfect community um, also something a little silly Jonas is leaving the community and he's he's uh, going through all these different um, uh, climates and like I said, it, the the community was climate controlled. It was it was always perfect, and so it, it's funny that he somehow gets a windbreaker and um, a raincoat and a winter parka, and you know he doesn't have a backpack on him even. So I don't know how he's carrying these things. I don't know how he came about them in the first place. So a little bit of of you know continuity issues, but other than that, I mean you know I I can get. But I can get uh, ahead of that. I can, you know, put that aside. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, I, I thought that it was a good movie. I, I think that it has amazing production value. I think they did a very good job of, uh, of trying to stick to the book and trying to show, you know, how this community was and, uh, you know, the slow realization of, of how Jonas came to realize what it actually was. Um, so yeah, very good movie. So, thanks very much for watching. Uh, as always, if you have something that you'd like for me to review in the future, please leave a comment below. If you have any other uh, comments or questions, leave something below. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'll see everyone in the next video.